Shoot it to the left, hunker down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse. I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. Yeah, I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm gonna be in that winter circle someday. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this edition of Water Horse, and we have got a good show full. Everybody filling out their celebration yes, entries and running and doing and doing and and I tell you what, I'm gonna let you do your thing and then we'll get started. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And KB Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. Two-time world champion and world grand champion Joe Hall is now standing at stud during the 2023 breeding season at Precious Memory Farm for $750. Contact Daniel Miller, 931-703-5830 or Shane Porterfield, 615-809-4257. Joe Hall is now standing at stud at Precious Memory Farm. What's a Tennessee vacation? It starts off like any road trip, and then boom, adventure and thrills everywhere you look, which happens to be some of the most beautiful scenery in the country. Music here, history there, and all kinds of green in between. Come relax and unwind, or bring the crowd for some stargazing, or stargazing. Whatever you do, come hungry and expect an awesome soundtrack. It's all right here in Tennessee. We're playing your song. For a free vacation guide, visit tnvacation.com. The Tennessee Walking Horse is rapidly becoming the horse of choice when selecting a great ride for the family. If you're looking for a smooth, easy ride on the trail that will take you through hills and streams or an obstacle course competition, the versatility of the Tennessee Walking Horse will stand out by showing its willingness to learn in its smooth, easy, steady gait through the course. If it's a competitive show horse you're looking for, the Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect family horse by young and old. Whether it's flat shot or padded performance classes for an amateur adult or youth, a walking horse is the horse of choice. The Tennessee Walking Horse is perfect for every equestrian division. Also, remember one simple truth. If you ride one today, you're on one tomorrow. That's a fact. <laughs> I've got a couple of announcements. Federal Blue Ribbon Show is Friday night, August the 4th. Contact Bart LaVorn for information, 615-478-2141. Start time 6 p.m. And Judge will be celebration bound, Leah Boyd. Yep. Chicken dinners. And they've, they've done some upgrades, major upgrades to the... Show ring over, put new gate, new rails, and all that. Okay. Up. Dressing it up. Bart said he he's done a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and then War Trace is August the fifth. That's Saturday night. Contact Beth Thomas at nine three one five eight zero six eight two five and Decan Trail at seven zero six three six six one zero one one. And 
the Honorable Jamie Bradshaw, one of them Alabama boys. Yeah. Was yeah going to be the judges judge this family. weekend. Huh? Two good judges this weekend. Yeah, we got some good judges this yeah. weekend. We know they know horses. Oh, yeah. That's the main thing. Jamie's <laughs> judged celebration a few times. Yes. I think this is Leah's first time, but but now she's a good judge. Oh, yeah. She, she knows horses. Been around the industry. I tell you, this weekend they uh, had a good time over in Shelbyville. Yeah. They uh, had the Tweeble. We, we did a presentation over there. There's a lot of things going on in the industry. Everybody's getting ready to... Uh, go the celebration so I'm gonna say this and I say it all the time video your inspections video have your horse videos while it's showing cover yourself on all the bases uh, I, I talked to some people about the what the swabbing and the guy that actually uses these constantly very involved in them said, quote, just like the thermography, it needs to be in an enclosed area when you use it. The inspections, we have no problems with the inspections, the palpation, the, like this right here, the parting of hairs, everything they do trying to find a scar rule. The Tennessee walking horse is in the best condition that it could ever want it to be in. Of course, now we're showing how they dig down in the pockets to get them to move. But this sniffer, or I'm saying sniffer, but it's the swabs. I just don't think it's. I don't. I, I, I think it's. It, it should be against the law. I don't think it's legal the way they do it. I know they don't use it correctly, but it's like everything else. They use the thermography in 20 degree weather. So now they're doing this, and I was told if you sneeze around that, that it can change the outcome. So I, I just don't, I just don't, I hope the industry is doing something to correct that. But I just, I just don't see it. There's too, it's too much around for it to be accurate. Yes, uh, I, I agree with that. I surely do. Well, it's just, to me, Jerry, it's more or less common sense. Now, it really is. If you want something to be sterile, you don't take it outside. Yeah. So they they want, to me, that's just one more way of them to harass the industry. And this industry works, in all honesty, it just works too hard to... To, I, I watch your, your guys at the barn, and I watch you. I, I used to. I've watched other trainers down on their knees, parting hairs and checking to see if there's any mark on a horse. And you know, there's a lot more to it just riding a horse and working a horse, especially being a trainer and working at a horse barn that a lot of people don't realize. I mean, we spend more time uh, taking care of them horses and making sure they're up to the best possibility they can be and stuff like that, you know, to to show and take care of any kind of injury that they have or whatever, you know, to make sure. But I mean, it's, you spend more time on doctoring and, and treating a horse than you actually do riding him now, well, you know. Well, y'all have to take care of it. I yeah. watch what y'all do. I watch you, I watch you clip them. I watch you wash their feet, wash their, wash them all over, give them baths. But and constantly looking to make sure everything's perfect, and it, it just does not make any sense. And, and I'm gonna tell everybody they need to get. And next week I'm gonna see if I can't go ahead and do this. I'm gonna put a list of the foreign substance out on everybody to go look every one of them up, and you're gonna find that a lot of them are useful to a horse. Well, I mean, it's just like the foreign stuff suffer. You know, I got stuff of water in my barn. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, I got to wash that horse, that horse drink that stuff of water and everything else, but now that's a foreign substance. So so what should I be able to I do know. to do something like that? Well, you're not the only one. There's other you know, people, yeah. several of them that do that. And I drank sulfur water when yeah. I was I was a kid at tea. And do I like the taste of it? Not really. But, I mean, you can drink it. It ain't going to kill you. 
But there's other things. A lot of a lot of things other industries are allowed to do. The USDA doesn't want us to do, but they don't want to turn around and do what a Horse Protection Act should do, and that's protect horses, not just the walking horse, not just the racking horse, not just the spotted horse, but also the quarter horse, the Arabians, all of them, down the saddlebreds, thoroughbreds, donkeys, mules. If it's equine, it should protect them, and it don't. They use it as a sledgehammer to attack this industry, and I, for one, have just reached, it, it, it just got ridiculous in some of the things they do. Instead of trying to help the industry, they tried to destroy the industry. Every one of these horses was turned down in 2016 for scar rule. The only problem was, they did 29 of them went for bi and had biopsies done. There was 58 negative biopsies come back that there was no scar. Yes. The government didn't apologize. They didn't refund the money that was lost. They didn't go to the trainer and say, well, we're sorry, we were wrong. They moved on to something else to try something different. And now they've come up with a swabbing technique, which I just think it's another way to... thousands of dollars? Yep, just another way to attack this industry. Let's go watch some victory passes. I'm getting too upset putting up with the government. Cornersville, 2023. I am a three-timer, and Josh Watts for Lee and Harold Baxter took the blue in the park performance. That was a nice horse right there. Well, he's a head-shaking walking, <laughs> buddy. Josh and Dale does a good job down there in Mississippi with them horses. And they have to travel so far up here to show because there ain't no more shows down that way. It's a long no ways way. for them yeah. to come. But they trek up here every year. Yes, we'll sir. a lot of them at Celebration, that's for sure. I remember them shows that used to have in Mississippi. Boy, they was nice. Great Some real Beach, nice ones. Right here is Graydon Beach and Allie Joe Jacobs. Allie Jacobs. For Jake okay. and Allie Joe. Ladies and gentlemen, get a big round of applause to our We got her uh, working on her celebration ad right now. I had to show my granddaughter a picture of her. She said, I want to see who I'm talking for. <laughs> Youth Lemon Under. That lemon hey. onion class is going to be a real tough hey. class hey, there. Tell That's me a good it. horse right there. They got a bunch of good ones going to be in that class. Right there is, see, I'm going to tell you now. I'm going to tell you one thing that really impresses me. There's no quit in Allie Joe Jacobs. No, it's not. She's a good little rider. She keeps after it. Slim and hot. And Robert Slim and hot. Owner rider of Greenboro, North Carolina. He made a good show, yeah. buddy. Amateur three-year-old stay and winner. Slim and hot. Robert Dorch. It's number 394. Slim and hot. And Robert Dorch of Greensboro, North Carolina. Robert got some bunch of good horses too. Oh yeah. yeah, a lot of good horses. A lot of good horses. A Super Bowl MVP. Right, here's Super MVP. Bowl MVP. I got my cap. I told Beth, I said, I ain't having this now. BB flat rides that horse. They're going to be a big contender for the celebration. They're going to have to watch them. So is that that punch right there? They're capable of making a heck of a show. Uh, to say at celebration, you'll see them in a bunch of different classes. You will. You're yep. going to see them. You're going to get some surprises come yes. celebration. Zorro Jr. Right here is Zorro Jr. And that's going to be one of them. Yeah. Zorro Jr. And Max. I'll tell you what. She can flat ride that horse. Uh huh. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to hurt John Allen's feelings. <laughs> that little girl out there can ride him just about as good as John Allen can. But now, that's a credit to John Allen. Oh, they do good to put them horses in the ring so they can ride them. That's what you call a horse trainer. Well, they put a lot of amateurs in there, and yeah. you can't... I mean, that, that a trainer that can put them in there, pro, pro and amateur... That's, right? that's the top trainer right there. Yeah. 
at the top of the list, buddy. Yep. Dixie Road. Here's Link Dixie Wayne. Road. Dixie Road and Link Wayne. Joe Morris told me, he said, we're going to take him to Pulaski, too, and so you can tell everybody we're coming. Evidently, word got out because he was the only one showed up. <laughs> yeah, that's a good horse. That's a horse now. You hold on see a, a real good flat walk, and that horse can show you a flat walk and a running walk right there. Hey, He's hey. a nice horse. He's the total package. Yep. All right. We're going to go straight from Corners Wall. We're going to go on down south a little bit. Not a lot, just a little bit. Parker's Crossroads. Crossroads. My good the buddy. The West over there. Yeah. Well, my good buddy Bob Ropes furnished us some video from there. I still ain't talked to Amy. I want to find out how she came up with this name, Team Six Boots. There's got to be a story yeah. behind that. Some work. She made a good show. Amy's a good rider. Oh, yeah, she is a good rider. Let's give her a round of applause. I know she loves them horses. Game six boots. He got her a set of roses for her uncle, Mike Floyd. And then Boone's Gin and Jimmy McConnell. Walk North State Clash winner. Number four, you know, a lot of these shows here don't seem right unless you see Jimmy in there on the horse. Uh, I tell you, on the state, especially he in the state shows class. It more in the state class than any other trainer. Yes, him and Dan Waddell. Yeah, Dan Waddell too. You got that right. Yeah, they got left Jimmy. Dan worked yeah. with Jimmy for years, so I guess he got it in his blood. All right, now we're going to go to Hard Champion. We, we that was had, a good we show. We had a decent show. Yeah, that was a good I show. Mean, we, we had a lot of things go against us, and we, we had to go from outside to the Champions Arena, and, of course, the cost and everything, the difference. It, it hurt as far as our fundraising, but we still come out with a, you know, we didn't even have 100 horses, but a lot of them was not sure we were going to be able. Yeah. Now, this is hard of Champions here. I'm, I was on the wrong, I was thinking about the, the youth joke when I said that. Yeah. But now she had the same problems we did. Yeah. But now she, she got her Champions Arena quick, which it hurt her too, but she still had a good show. She had yeah. a real good show. DeJano and Daniel Smith took the blue for Larry and Elsie West. And I'm going to tell you. I'm far that kid. Now, yeah. He he does good and he's a good jockey. He is a good jockey. Real good jockey. I've never seen him in an equitation class, but he'd do well in one. Now dark rain. Taylor Taylor was I mean they were they were walking through the rain that day. Yep, they got it done, but you talking about good. You know, I've not seen him make a bad show. Not really. Just, just get tapped there and flat walk. Edgar does a good job with it. Edgar him. does a really good job with that horse. Jive SS, and SS stands for Sam's R. <laughs> oh, Sam, he, Sam's a good judge. Oh, yeah. But now, I'll tell you what, I was looked up and I saw him out there. I said, go get her, big boy. Oh, he made a good show. That's a nice That's horse. That's a nice right horse. There. He is a nice horse. Amateur three-year-old. Sam sets in that seat. Mm -hmm. I'm glad to see him back in the show ring. I like to see these people get back in. Yeah. It's been out for a while. Right there's Honor and Remember and Dan Waddell for George and Kim Lewis. Right there's one of the celebration oh, yeah. contenders big time, buddy. That horse can get it done. I like that canter. Oh, 
yeah, that's nice. Awful nice right yeah. there. Awful nice. Good show. And then from there we went to Marshall County. I tell you what, we're jumping to show, to show, to show. But this year we we've had some excellent horses. Oh yeah, this year. I mean some yeah. real mm -hmm. good horses. Some real good horses. And it was wet in Marshall yeah. County. There he is. It's the medalist in Eli Cunningham for Wilson and Cunningham, your youth 11 underwinter. A dare celebration contender. You can that's, bet on that's it. That's another good horse going to be in that class. Eli will be in that gilding class. Yeah. Right here is a king thing in Bob Adcock. That horse has been a good horse for a long time. Yes, he, yes, he has. He has. Everyone who had that horse have been successful with him. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, now I believe Bill's the one that trains this one. Yeah. And he, he does a great job of getting yeah. him ready. And, and I know Bob's tickled. Yeah. He, uh, he's got several horses out there and he, he tickled to death. We had lunch together last week. Right here is Black Gin Scout, Megan Hammond. Hey, he's nice. Hey. That's a good horse right there. Another celebration contender. Yeah. King Thane celebration contender. We got all kinds of celebration contenders in here, book. We're doing good. Black Gin Scout. All right. Now we've only got one place to go. Down a little south, right there. Yep. That's south <laughs> of Tennessee. Joe Barnes says, tell them we're coming to Pulaski. Evidently, right, everybody got the memo because no one can. <laughs> Here we go. A red alert in Dan Waddell for Kim and George Lewis. This horse is getting better and better every time you see him every, show right here. He every sure time. does. He's going, he's I see the first time tough. he showed to now, he's a lot, he's a real good horse right there. He's going to be tough. Yeah. Two-year-old Marion Gildan winner. i tell you, I've seen some good two-year-olds up there in Pulaski. Right here, switch play. I'm gonna tell you, she's getting That's every right. time, she's every good. time, buddy. Like I said, there's no quit in it. Yeah, her. she don't give up. She keeps no. trying, you know, she and that's keep, a, and keep, that's a good thing. That's what you call a good rider. Keeps riding. A starting of a good rider, right there. When they don't give up, regardless on what the horse doing, she's steady to keep riding and keep getting better and better. Well, he he's getting better and better. He that's was what I'm reserve saying. up there, but switch blade, switch blade. Now he's gonna be right. And here's me and Pocahontas and Allison Balcom. I bet five you see her at celebration. I say so. <laughs> Allison's a good, good jockey, too. She is a good jockey. Me and Pocahontas. That's one thing about Allison Armstrong. She's got some great horses, yeah. but if she likes you, she'll put you That's on one of them and get you in the ring. Right. And here's Limestone and Dan Waddell. This was reserved, but I thought he made a real good show. Yeah. Dan's got a lot of good horses. Dan got some good horses, yep. Dan does a real good job. He works hard at it. Well, every time I've stopped by out there, he, he's been going at it. He ain't, yeah. you know, fiddling around. He's working. That whole barn, they're working. Damn good. Right here, honored in Texas in Bob Adcock, amateur five-year-old winner. Honored in Texas 
That class is going to be low. Oh, yeah. It is going to be full. And the way that horse right there looks, he's going to be the top bullet. <laughs> yeah, he's going to be up there, He's going to be up there. It's going to be hard to beat. There's a bunch of them. I'm anxious to see what the splits are in different yeah. divisions this year. Because we've got a lot of real good top-notch horses. Yeah. And right there, There's another good horse right here. Hey, amateur stallion winner. Allison did a great job of him that night. Yes. Four and got it done too. See, see who's there to welcome her out. <laughs> That's <you>? right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I'm going. You're going to have to do your thing now, and then we'll get on with some other horses. That'll work. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Same bloodline, same mother, same father, and here he is. Now this is the offspring. Now Hero is standing at stud at Jerry Williams stable. Yes, now I'm gonna tell you, that's a, that's a real nice horse. That horse had an injury happen to him in the stall when he was young, um, but now I tell you, got, all, got a lot of talent, that Hero horse does. He's a real nice horse. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee walking horse. But I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. We've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida. And now, for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls. And there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411, and see if I can save you money on your communications. What does Habitat for Humanity build? Hope. Opportunity. Joy and togetherness. Growth and transformation. Strength and stability. Community. Home. Hey everybody, I'm Garth Brooks. And I'm Trisha Yearwood. And nothing illustrates the beauty of what we can build together, like Habitat for Humanity. A safe, decent, affordable place to call home is a campus full of possibility. In our work with Habitat, we've seen what's possible. Financial stability, peace of mind, room to grow and play, better health, brighter futures. In your community and around the world right now, neighbors are helping neighbors build masterpieces of their own. Visit Habitat.org to learn more and get involved today. You know, my friends think I know everything there is to know about the walking horse industry. And I do know a lot, but not everything. I do know one thing, though. My father told me I could find out anything I needed to know about this industry by going to walkinghorsereport.com. And you know what? He was right. Everything from single night shows to multi-night shows, sibling and progeny searches, rider cup standing, stallion reports. They even have a calendar of shows for the entire year and all the current news. It's all right there at the tip of my fingers when I go to walking horsereport.com. You know, they could do it themselves, but I don't think I'm going to tell them. Let's just keep them wondering how I know so much. Now we're going to now we're going to see some we're going to see how good you are. I don't know. Yeah, we we fix <laughs> find out, buddy. Because I videoed you with a coat. I got to say, you did a good job. <laughs> I, I ain't going to knock it. I, I have a, had a lot of comments, but I want everybody to notice. This is 9-11. He is by honors out of an armed 
and not out of a deal for real marriage. I started to say yeah. armed danger, but that's his, her mother. Yeah. By d arms deal for real, out of arms deal for real marriage, Mar yeah. by honors. That's 9 11. That's, what, what's that, the second time he's been clipped? Except for the second time. Yeah. He gets better and better every time. But I mean, it just, there's like, my father always told me if you start something off one way, it, it helps them. In the longer run, you know, I don't never start one off with no clippers, I know nothing like that. You know, the first time you seen the first time I clipped him, I had him kind of tied down yep. a little bit to try to get him used to it. But now he's not even tied down; the rope just hanging there. Well, Jim Don was having a conversation behind us. I told him to take that out. Yeah, <laughs> if we'd talk over this video, he, he was telling a, a story about someone walking up, up on, on him, scaring him. Yeah, but now nah, this coat here is very smart, you know. <clears throat> I tell you what, I'm, I'm tickled. I'm, I'm tickled with everything about him. And uh, yeah, but he just he just a real smart, <clears throat> talented coat. You know, one thing that bothered me, I named him 9/11 because he was born on the 11th. Yeah. But I looked in the papers, and I, I should have had them correct that when we did it. Has the 12th, but he, he was born on the 11th. Yeah. There he is out in the field. Now, he is raising cane out there. Yeah. He, he's a win in, and evidently he wants to run. There's a lot going on over there in that background over there at the distillery. You got machineries and all kind of stuff that goes on. So I think he's done pretty well to say all the stuff that's going on and the cars is passing by and, and everything else that you can't really see on there. But Well, they was going behind me. Yeah. But you can watch every now and then he'll turn that head up there. He sees them. Yeah. But he's well behaved. He he's is. smart. He's very smart. And that, that's the main thing. Yeah, but there's a lot going on out there. Honors are great, great horses. Oh, yeah, he is. You, deals are smart. Yeah. And when you cross a deal with honors, I'm, I'm, I think I got something special there. Yeah. Then we went to the Sizzler. I'm going to tell you, they should have called, called that the Georgia Hazelwood show <laughs> because that young lady, she kept winning. I tell you, this was a real nice show. Well, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun, you know. Yeah. Um, this was your married foal. This was the first one. There's Georgia back there in the back. And she, she won this class. Whooping it in command, she won it. I'm Stormy Daniels was reserved with Rachel Doris. Sidekick, Caroline Wesley May Way. Ruby Diamond Ritz and Emery Sims. Then Genuine Silver and Brian Buckman. But Georgia, she just she just had a very special day, but yeah. you don't have many days like that. I tell you, that show turned out and the way it was set up real well. Well, it was. It, I, I, I mean, thought they did an excellent I job. I thought they did a, a, a Now, this a is the job. showmanship. Dr. Meadows was the one that that did this one. This is when they go through the obstacles. And Leanna Landon won this class, that young lady right there. And Georgia Hazelwood was reserved in this class. But that's a pretty neat class. Oh, There's yeah. different things that you have to do. And you can tell. You can tell that young lady has worked with that horse doing that. Oh yeah. A lot. Now I, I don't think Georgia's had as much time with hers as far as working with them. Right there's Georgia. But I tell you what, Georgia shows she can flat handle. Oh yeah. Pretty neat. That's one of the first time I've ever seen that class right there. Well, that's a showmanship class. Yeah. I've seen it before. Dr. Meadows is big in that. That's why they got him to yeah. judge that. Right here's your Wingling Phillies. 
And this was this was a Riders Cup class here. A mighty mischievous, mischievous, can't pronounce that. And Robert Nims took the blue for Shane Porterfield. The Woman King and Jerron Dotson was reserved. Good old golly, Miss Molly, Georgia Hazelwood. And I am Miss Charlie, Charlie Tipton. Finished out the ribbons in this class. I tell you one thing, and now here's your lead line. Oakland Kate Davis took the blue, and Olivia Stembridge was reserved. One thing that was brought to my attention, my cameraman said, they got them in, they got them out, they got it over. But yeah. And that's about it, because they did. Wasted no time. There's you. This right here is your wingling coach. And the smooth criminal right there. And Georgia Hazelwood took the blue. Nathan Mills right there was reserved with Holy. And Robert Nims was third with Hendon Hooker. I saw a young man walking out there and I said, I'll bet anything that's Jason Mills' son. And found out a little bit later it was. <laughs> There's Robert. I was glad to see people support this the way they did because it was a great, it's a great show. And it was quick. Here's your fall winglings. Shade of Honor right there and Jerron Dotson took the blue. Hendon Hooker, Robert Nims was reserved. And well for Pete's sakes and Keith Reed. That's that was nice so that Jaron showed on there, that yeah. honors coat. Yes, it was. Yeah. That was a nice coat in that whole class right there, yeah. that whole show. I'm going to tell you, they, they did super as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Oh, Jaron works hard at them working the coach does. now. I tell you what, that's not easy. No, uh, uh People say what they want to, but working coach, if you're in the equine industry, you're gonna work a lot. A whole yeah. lot. Yeah. Right here's your model class. Getting down in Dixon, Robert Nims took the blue for Lisa Teal. They star by design. Harley Bennett was reserved. Classy, sassy, smart, sassy. Yolanda Nash, shake up the light, nightlife. Stephanie Richardson and Josie Isabel, Jennifer Steenbridge. Finished out the ribbons. Right here, amateur winglings. Smooth criminal. Georgia Hazelwood took it again. A woman king, Jerron Dotson. And right there he was. I'm Miss Charlie, Carly Tipton, Holy, Nathan Mills, and sidekick, Raleigh Beard. Raleigh had to get into that. Yeah. He should have been, him, him and Jack Way should have been in the lead line. With yeah. Him. Now watch the way that boy walks right there. Oh, yeah. Just like his daddy. At Wingling Phillies, honor my chick, Anthony Richards, Black Jen's Perfection, Robert Nims. Hallelujah, Jose. Sarah Wilkinson Buchanan. Sophisticated Honors, Jerron Dotson. And Dojo Cat, Ronald Morton. So everybody, everybody gets into the action. Yeah. Here. <laughs> Might get stepped on. <coughs> I bet you the neighbors was wondering what was going, going on, on yeah. over there. I tell you, 
if the weather would help you with well live that would be a good show to have a, a little one night horse show at right there it sets up the right wingly coach smooth criminal again georgia hazelwood a woman king jerron dotson i am miss charlie leah landon sidekick mary francis way and holy marshall mills finished out the ribbons i like the fact that you you saw some people dressed yeah some people not dressed yeah but it was it was a i mean it's just a a good time sunday That's afternoon right. mm -hmm. and that'd be a good place to have maybe 15 16 classes on a sunday afternoon and I'm going to say back in the days when they used to have this show, when the show used to be, that's how it probably used to be. You had some of them probably had coats on, some of them probably, probably just, probably. yeah. He got on that green shirt and his daddy used to wear them green pants. Uh-huh. <laughs> I heard they're supposed to move this show different places yes, every year. They are. Mm -hmm. Here's showmanship. Harley Bennett won the class, and Yolanda Nash was reserved. Pretty good, real good. Mike Carpenter had more classes than Doyle did. Yeah. Dr. Meadows, he didn't have quite as many classes to judge. Well, Mike Carpenter used to judge all the time. Every time you looked up, he was no, judging the celebration. And... Well, he didn't judge celebration in years. Yeah, think, that's what I'm what, saying. Right here is yearling coats, or youth yearlings. Sophisticated honors and Isaac Witherspoon was the winner. Rowdy's sister, Georgia Hazelwood, was reserved. And Ed Sweet Tea, Robert Nims. We can get one Jerry Sweet Tea. Yeah. We can both claim it. Yeah. Debbie Eichler has got a little stud coat that she walks up there and she says, come give mama a kiss and he'll stick his nose up to the thing. Kiss her. <laughs> Yearling amateur, honor my chick and Kelly Richardson Ward took the blue. Hallelujah Jose, Sarah Wilkerson Buchanan, me and Julio Schoolyard, Joel Crispin, sophisticated honors, Belle Dotson, and Rowdy's sister, Stephanie Richardson, finished out the ribbons. Right here's your model class. Josie and the Pussycats, Emory Sims took the blue, a star by design, Lavena Landon. Shake up the nightlife, Georgia Hazelwood, Jose's Isabel, Stephanie Stembridge, and Bold and Ritzy, Joey Stembridge, finished the ribbons.
Yearling Colts. Robert Nims took the blue with Walk Time Master. And me and Julie, Julio Schoolyard, Roger Richards Jr. was reserved. And then we came to the state class. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now this has Jennifer Stembridge as the winner, but it was actually a little woody. Yeah. <laughs> little woody <laughs> in Stembridge. And uh, there I am, and Bobby Jones and Dr. Richards. Now they, they were a hoot, but they was dressed in orange. They looked like the road crew from uh, the jail out there with their little orange outfit. <laughs> Look at him. I told Bobby, I said, Bobby, you gonna do this? And he said, they want me to. I said, well, I think I'm gonna do it. And he said, you gonna do it? And I said, yeah. And he said, I'm doing it and I'm gonna kick your butt. <laughs> so, made my day that uh, we beat him. <laughs> yeah. At least we placed higher. Now look at there. <laughs> I think they won because that, that pony had more to carry than, yeah, than the horses right. did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Little Woody did good though. Oh yeah. Well, he did. Old Sterling. He's a pistol. He is. They told me, they said, now you be sure to look between that horse's <laughs> ears. I said, listen to Jerry. I said, I don't need to shut up. Leave me alone. That was a, that was that was a, a lot. That, that was, was a lot of fun. Lot of I fun. had fun doing that. I, I, I couldn't. Uh... And you know, I tell you what, that horse right there that you were riding, I mean, he's very smart. A week and a half ago, I just taught him how to first how to park out. He ain't never parked out. They never had to. Yeah. When I left, my wife told my grandkids that I was going to go play cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> But that was, it was a lot of fun. Everybody, what was it? Troy told him, told the judge, said, if you if you, you need to go to jail. Yeah, just like with them. <laughs> people don't realize how much fun that was, but yeah. I was hoping that there was a lot of people would, would do that. Yeah. Because it, it, it was, it would have been a whole lot more fun. I heard somebody how they need to have a workout. I know. On the yeah. workout, I said, workout, I'm going to get out of here. <laughs> All right, you got to do your deal. We'll be right back at the Wait a minute. Show. Wait a minute. Got one thing to do. The Youth Equine Support Show raised the funds, and I presented them to Georgia Hazelwood. Those funds are going to go to have a seminar during the celebration for trail riding, and Tracy Pinson, the, and she is an extreme cowboy champion. So she, everybody needs to attend that. That lady's smart. She yeah, knows she a lot is. about She's horses. A good person with that. You'll learn a lot right there. Yeah. She is in some of the just. That's her performing up on the mountain. Yeah. Because we went up there and I videoed her. And as a matter of fact, that's the horse she won the extreme cowboy competition with. So everybody, you can learn a lot by going and watching and listening to what Tracy has yeah. to say. Now you can do your deal. We'll be right back after these messages. Can't believe you're doing this alone. I've done it before. I remember. You threw your back out. <laughs> How you holding up? Hand me that board. Nothing wrong with getting help. I'm good. I did it when Felicia left. I'll figure it out. I know you will. You don't have to do it alone, that's all I'm saying. If I promise to look into it, will you drop it and help me build this fence? <laughs> now you need my help. It can be a real pain sometimes, you know? Mm -hmm. If you or a veteran you know needs support, don't wait. Reach out. 
Find resources at va.gov reach. The Mona Dean family is proud to announce that the multi-time world champion and world grand champion minor ordeal is now available for breeding at Sugar Creek Breeding Facility for the 2023 spring breeding season. Minor ordeal. Minor Ordeal has proven year after year that he is one of the elite champions of all time winning five World Grand Championships, one World Grand Championship, and the Reserve World Grand Championship as well. Minor Ordeal, a major win here in the two-year-old division, our World Grand Champion. Make the call to breed to a true champion, Minor Ordeal. in the amateur and open competition, four times amateur world grand champion and 2019 world grand champion. Standing at stud for Joanne Dowell at Fantasy Farms in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Call 931-389-6983 for breeding information. An estimated 11 million Americans have heart valve disease, but most of us know little to nothing about it. People can be born with valve problems, or they can develop from cardiovascular disease, infections, certain cancer treatments, and age, with older adults at the highest risk. If diagnosed early, it can usually be successfully treated, no matter what your age. Valve disease can cause a number of symptoms, including lightheadedness, irregular heartbeat, shortness of breath, tiredness, swelling of the ankles and feet, and not feeling like yourself in general but is often only detected when your heart is listened to by a healthcare professional. So listen to your heart. See your healthcare professional. Discuss your risk factors and any potential symptoms and go to valvediseaseday.org to learn more. More of What a Horse coming up. <laughs> All righty. Now, I want everybody to know, thanks to my good buddy, Bob Roach, we have one of the classes that everybody talks about all year long. I want to congratulate the winners of this year's Maiden. Do you know who they are? I know one of them. Kimberly. <laughs> Kimberly Walden and Perry Jalapeno. And I was tickled that I could get it, but there he is. Jalapeno and Joe Lester for Kimberly and Perry Walden. That's a big win right there. It's a great big win, but I'm going to tell you, it couldn't happen to two better people. Yeah. So Kimberly is one of these that has a lot of good horses, but she's more than willing to share them with the kids. Oh, yeah. And I always like that about Kimberly, she just, that's one special trait that she has. And Perry, just super good guy. Oh yeah. But Jalapeno. Don't get no better than that, bub. Nope, it don't. <clears throat> I tell you, the biggest thing about that is, it's just, I mean, that's a real big deal right there. Cause it the, is. And the money that that goes along with that. and the, It was in there with some great ones, horses, too. And, it's, and it splits them up. Three different, what, they had two different divisions, or three divisions they had to go? Three, I think. And they, I mean, there was just, there was four different. There's A, B, C, C and D. E, okay, yeah. That you qualified for. and But there was a question about doing a workout. Everybody needs to know you cannot work a two-year-old over 10 minutes. Yeah. 
period. Don't care. Let's go. One more right here at Putnam County. And the gentleman that furnished the video for me, my buddy Bob Roach, he won the two-year-old class on Beach Bum Bruce. Mm-hmm. For snazzy. That's a nice horse right there. Yes, he is. Bob's a good jockey now. That's a real good horse. And he's got his built-in blacksmith, too. His brother. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's got his brother shoes his horses and runs one of his cameras. You can't ask another better. Bob's a good friend. He truly is. He made a good show. I have that coach mama at the bowling. Is that right? Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what. And right here is Koufax and Blaze Picard. And I'm going to tell everybody this. A good friend of mine told me one time, he said, my daughter's horse just won walking on that water out there. He said, we're celebration bound. And I want you to know that year they won the World Grand Championship, Grizzly Sky. Yeah. <laughs> Koufax and Blaze Picard for Wagaman and Picard. Can't ask for nothing no better than that. Because you can bet at least two, three nights of celebration, we will have rain. Yeah. But that doesn't seem to bother him at all. Getting it done. Congratulations. That's a, I like it. Oh, yeah. That's a good that horse. horse. got a lot of style mm -hmm. to him. A lot, whole lot of walk. That's a real good right. We're going to be doing all kinds of video for next week, but we're getting ready for the celebration, so I'll be visiting some barns and looking around. A lot of people, like what you and I was talking about, riding horses with no action device, just getting it done. Getting them exercised, getting them built up, and everything else, you know. Getting, getting them winded, letting yes. them go. And we're going to be covering <coughs> some... Uh, because of this that's coming up for the uh, seminar that Tracy Pence is going to do, I'm going to go out and video some of them working horses for trail riding. Yes. Because that's going to be what we'll do this fall, yep. this winter. You're, you're exactly right on that. All right. Everybody go get your celebration entries in. Get ready for the celebration. And we will see you next week. Yes, sir. And I'll even have him back over. Here. Yes, sir. You mm -hmm. gonna come back? I'm coming back. Right. Tell everybody bye, Jerry. See you later. Y'all have a good <laughs> weekend. <laughs> we, we, we <laughs> People think we're crazy anyway. Yeah. <laughs>